Hi, everybody. Good to be back in Helsinki. So you can see the northern lights behind our little microliner here because it's in the Nordic countries where it will happen first. Battery electric flight is within reach and with our team of 25 professionals that come from all continents and have gathered in Munich to make sustainable flight a reality, we will engineer this microliner in this decade. Why do we need to do this? Well, we're electrifying mobility on the ground, but still, what do we do about air mobility? It's polluting. We need to do our share, and people don't accept it anymore that we pollute while we are traveling by air. What is our proposition? We call it the microliner because it's small, but it's still a commercial air transport aircraft. And actually, the main technology is invisible. It looks like a classical plane, but we embed batteries in the wing, and we have something which we call the multi-engine single propeller. And with battery technology of today, you can transport nine passengers up to 400 kilometers. And that's actually more energy efficient than if you would drive by yourself in your electric car. Now, what does it mean to fly in a small nine-seater plane? Well, actually, the comfort that you will get will be as good or better than if you uh, sit in a commercial airliner. And even better, you don't have to stand in line with 150 people and fight where you put your trolley in. Our business model is essentially a razor and blade model. We will sell a plane to a customer, but over the lifetime of the airplane, the customer will have to replace the batteries several times due to aging effects. And uh, a big advantage for the customer is that when they get new batteries, they can take profit of new chemistry being made available. So the range of the airplane will go up over the lifetime of the airplane. Now, what does this mean for the end customer? What will it cost to fly on such a plane? Those who uh, drive electric cars or those who have anything to do with electric buses and trucks know that operating costs go down dramatically if you electrify. And this allows us to meet the seat costs of much larger airplanes today. So we can actually replace much larger airplanes and maybe give you more frequency with a nine-seat aircraft. We think that the cost per seat will be between 150 and 300 euros. It's not cheap, but it's affordable for a normal business traveler. And this will allow thinner routes to be operated again between smaller regional airports. The enabling technologies we develop in-house one of them is called multi-engine single propeller. Now, if you're a pilot and you lose one engine, normally you have to deal with asymmetry. Left one out, you have to, right one still operating, you have to fly like this. It's a safety hazard, it's less efficient, everything is oversized. If you have a single propeller, you can size the airplane much cleaner, and if you lose one engine, you just lose a little bit of thrust, that's it. And electric motors allow this because they are more compact and lightweight. You can couple them mechanically in ways you could never do with a combustion engine or a turbine. The second innovation is in the batteries, and actually the more important one. We have found a way to integrate battery modules in the wing that still allow the wing to flex and bend. We have found a way to make it extremely lightweight, not to lose any more energy density. And we have found a way to make it fireproof and meet any certification requirements. And to give you an idea what that means, I have a little video of a single cell blowing up. That is what we need to contain. That's a single cell. Our battery modules can contain several dozens of uh, battery cells taking fire. Because this is an actual hazard you need to show that you can sustain. Now, in our journey, we are at the end of our technology phase. We have developed technology in-house, we have filed patents, we have calculated the aircraft completely, but now we have to make it into a product. This we'll do by building a full-scale copper bird, which means the full propulsion system on ground in the lab, and a full completed design, which will allow us to market and sell the product. Now, our initial customers will be operators who fly relatively small planes. We see a lot of them in the Nordic countries, in Sweden as well, in Norway, Denmark. And some of them are business aviation uh, customers. These are turboprops mainly. And in reality, most of these turboprop aircraft fly only 500 kilometers today anyway. But there is a, a larger promise out there, the promise of regional air mobility. Let's take a look at Germany, where we are based. In Germany, we have 1.4 billion travelers on the segment 150 to 600 kilometers. 80% of the people traveling that distance, they travel by car. 
only 108 million travel by the high-speed rail network because it only connects big city to big city. But what if we could use the extensive network of existing small regional airports? We can bring high-speed travel to the region. Door-to-door -door travel in under four hours from almost anywhere because 80% of the population has an existing small regional airport nearby. And the same applies to the rest of the European continent and to the United States as well. And then you can see that we can be competitive on CO2 emissions, even with the German grid, which isn't great, on time, door to door, and on cost. So the market potential is actually gigantic. If we take a look at the baseline market, existing operators of small turboprops going electric, maybe electrifying some existing short haul flights with bigger airplanes, but essentially regional air mobility especially also here in the Nordics, will be a huge market enabler. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I thank you very much. If you have any questions, happy to take them. All right. There's a question over there. So we will fly uh, relatively slow. Um, the airplane will be certified, for example, up to 200 knots. This is above 300 kilometers an hour. If we have to go maximum range, we will fly significantly slower. Like an electric car, if you want to have range, you will drive slower. Well, the initial aircraft will probably not be pressurized, so around 10,000 feet, three kilometers, but we are also looking at pressurization option which will allow us to go over the Alps in Central Europe or over the mountains here in the Nordic countries as well. Over there. Yes, thank you so much. So I mentioned that uh, batteries will be replaced regularly. But the batteries that we take out of the airplane, we will not throw them away. They will be super useful for an application on ground, buffer storage combined with renewable energies. And even then, uh, when they are completely used up, we will recycle these modules. And we have already a cooperation with another German startup that will recycle and recover up to 90% of all the valuable metals out of these battery modules. And then the aircraft itself will have a life of about 20 years. And obviously, uh, recycle, uh, recycling and uh, end-of-life solution is, is part of uh, the design. Thank you. All right. I think time is almost up. Thank you so much, you're a great audience. Have a good event. See you later.